Hey everyone, Merry Christmas. It's that time of year already, can you believe it? Time flies. But look at the bright side, right after Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's, spring is coming, which means fishing season is just around the corner. So get excited. Hunt season's happening now. Anyways, today, um, I know getting gifts for your family and friends can be really difficult, especially if they're like me. I'm terrible to get gifts from. So we thought, hey, let's make a gift guide make things easier on the moms, the sisters, you know, parents trying to get stuff for the kids, stuff like that, especially if they're older kids. And this really applies to you if you are an outdoorsman, hunting, fishing, stuff like that. So anyways, we're gonna give you about 15 cool gift ideas. Hopefully these will help you out if you're struggling to get something nice for your family or friends. First off, we have some lures, some really cool lures. Uh, one lure that's really been doing great for me the past year or two is the CNH lure rattle jet. I mean, it's just been so effective, and at the same time, it's so easy. You know, I've just been fishing with it as is, as it comes out of the package, and I've been catching a lot of fish. I've been getting mahi, tuna, kingfish, bonita, um, bar jacks, pr pretty much anything. You may not necessarily want all those fish, but it'll catch it. If it's a slow day and you just want to catch something, that lure does a great job easy to use, it's cheap, it's a good little Christmas idea or maybe even stocking stuffer. Another cool lure is the Mr. Big XL series. CNH made Mr. Big for a long time. They just came out with an even bigger Mr. Big. Um, I just got one to try, I haven't used it yet but I'm pretty excited about it. It's new so if you're worried about, well I wonder if my son or husband or brother or whoever wonder if they already have this lure. Well they may not have this one because it, it only came out a couple months ago and Wahoo season just coming upon us, so they may not have picked it up yet. I've also been experimenting with a new one called a uh, Mag Basin Sarah Lure, funny looking lure, but I've caught um, a couple Wahoo on it already, so pretty excited about that. Another good idea is a fish bag, okay? These are pretty neat. I've had some people comment on them on my videos before, and they say, hey, what's, what's that bag you're putting the fish into? Well, it's a big insulated fish bag. A lot of boats, especially older boats, don't have much insulation in their fish box and when you're here in the Florida in the middle of summer, sun beating down on you, that ice doesn't last very long. So we put this fish bag in our fish box and put all our ice and all our fish in that and it holds it great. Plus it's portable so say you're in a tournament or maybe maybe it's not your boat, you just bring this bag with you, you can load up the fish in there, take it out of the boat when you're done, just throw it in the back of your truck or something and you're good to go. When you're done, you know, you just fold it up. It doesn't take up much space. You can also get a bait insulated fish bag, a smaller one, which is good if you got like ribbon fish, you know, when you go out fishing for the day, you want, want to separate your bait. Or maybe just, you know, you're working and you need to pick up bait on your way home um, or something like that. You can throw that bait in your little insulated fish bag. Another one I really like is a flashlight. These flashlights have been really cool. To dive flashlight, but I use it for everything. Like it's super bright, rechargeable battery. I like to take it with me hunting. And since you know it's a dive light, it's waterproof. So, you know, if it rains or, or whatever happens, leave it in your pocket, goes to the wash machine, it'll be good. <laughs> I've taken it down at least a hundred feet, maybe further. And I've had this for years, really like it. It's held up well. Another good one is a tackle bag. I had an issue with keeping up with my stuff and all the gear I wanted to have just in case, or even around the house when it's time to rig something up, having to go to this place for something and this place for the other piece. But now I got this bag from Calcutta, uh, not sponsor anything, I just really like this bag. Got it, got it for Christmas a few years ago. And it holds four trays and it's got some pouches for like pliers and stuff, which I like. And I put pretty much all the tackle gear I need in here. Um, I actually only use three of the four trays. I got a tray for rigging ballyhoo, a tray for hooks and stuff, and then a tray for like swivels and um, snap swivels, regular swivels, three-way swivels, just a little terminal gear like that. So this has been really good, makes it easy when I'm ready to go fishing. If I see I got this bag, I know pretty much got everything I could need if I had to rig something up. So it just kind of boosts my confidence knowing I have everything. You need to be 10, 20, 60 miles offshore and be like, oh dang, I forgot something. You know, I can't go back in and get it, I'm just out of luck. But when you have it organized, you're less likely to forget it and you're a little more confident when you go out for the day. Another good one is a Bubba Blade. 
Uh, we've been using that for a little while. Really good for filleting fish, especially big offshore fish, but you can get a smaller one for inshore fish like flounder, trout, stuff like that. Uh, got a great handle, um, stay sharp for a long time. It's just a good quality knife. A cool product for your boat uh, that we just got this year is the Evolution 360 Rod Holders by Exploding Fish. Uh, they gave us some to try out. Really cool, really excited about them. I really like them. Uh, you can put them in your boat on your gunnels and they swivel, which is super handy. Think about your outriggers, your downriggers, they all rotate. Now you have rod holders that rotate. So if I want to go from wahoo fishing to bottom fishing or from out the dock, I want to turn them in. If I want to be able to reach my rod tip, turn them in. Uh, you find so many more uses once you get on your boat than you initially thought. Pretty cool, pretty cool device. Another one is the Go Fish Cam. This was also given to us. Uh, really like it, got some super cool footage. If you uh, haven't seen it already, check out our Kingfish footage. When we have this Go Fish Cam back there on our Kingfish spread, you see fish stalking your bait, striking your bait. You really learn a lot. I've also been using it when I'm fishing, like trying out my uh, rig value. I wanna see how they're trolling, make sure they're swimming right. You can use it for bottom fishing. Looking forward to trying it on that. There's a lot of cool uses. And you know, if, if your friend or family member likes filming or just wants to kind of get an edge on fishing, you know, they can see what's below if there's a thermocline, you know, stuff like that. It's, it's pretty neat, give it a try. Then we have the Dude Perfect Fishing Rod. These are really cool for kids and they're really tough. That's why I mentioned these because when we went offshore fishing one time and we took this offshore with us, with Dude Perfect and Black Div H, this thing was catching like big red snapper offshore. I was like, man, this thing holds up well. You know, a little rod like that can get big offshore fish, then get it for kids, fish in the pond, it should do great. Finally, a nice little cheap item, which is good, stocking stuffer, or if you're really on a tight budget, understand, is a venting tool. Uh, a lot of states require this now. You might want to check your regulations. Even if it doesn't, it's a really good tool to promote conservation and help fish get back down. The one I use in particular, I got a link in the video. I really like it as opposed to some of the other ones because it's more durable. It's easy to just clip on your belt, you know, your pants or whatever you got. And uh, it's done a great job so far. Simple, easy to use and durable. Now, if, you know, it's kind of, I say a dad gift because, you know, dads and us adults, we get practical and um, it's not really about having a fun, cool toy, but sometimes that'll really help us out. And this one is made by a company called Trailer Made. It's a trailer made and it's basically an easy tire changing device, okay? It's just a, a little plastic yellow thing that holds a lot of weight. Now, if you have a dual or triple axle trailer, you can get this. If you have a flat, you just put this in front of your good trailer uh, tire and then you pull forward or push back whichever direction you gotta go to get that good tire up on this device. And when it goes up on it, it just rolls right up on it. Then that back trailer can come off and you can switch it out real quick. So you don't need like to get a jack and worry about jacking it up you know, go through that process. It's gonna be a pain. This is just quick, grab it, put it in your tire, loosen the one wheel first, pull it up, then take it off, switch it out, drop it back down. We've used it several times and it is nice. The next one is an ammo pouch. I've been using these for several years. They come in really handy, really handy. Is that a word? <laughs> these things come in handy. <laughs> See, you can put it on the butt of your rifle and you put your ammo for it right in there. You don't have to worry about keeping track of it leaving it in your pants pocket, you know, having it in a box somewhere and you're safe. You just put it right along the gun and go hunting and you always have your bullets right there. I like the kind that have a flap over it because over time that elastic that holds the bullets, it kind of loosens up and then as you're walking to your stand, the bullets will fall out and time you get there, you're like, where'd my bullets go? <laughs> How am I gonna hunt? But the flap keeps them, you know, from falling out. So that's a, another good one, fairly cheap and very practical. Then we have a thermocell. Thermocells are awesome. They keep bugs off of you so well. I mean, I couldn't imagine hunting nowadays without a thermocell. You know, we're in Florida in the swamp. Bugs are pretty bad a lot of times. And it's not just for hunters. I mean, if you know someone who likes to camp, you know, or maybe just lives kind of out in the woods and like they have parties and the bugs get bad. It's such a simple device. You turn it on, it covers a pretty good area. I mean, and they, they are very effective, I assure you. <laughs> so great, great tool to have. Very practical, practical, and not real expensive either. 
Another good one are these tactical pants that my brother likes to use. He recently tried a couple of these pants and he likes the one by 5'11 the best. They're um, nice, good pants. It's not like BDUs or nothing, just regular pants you can wear to work. But they have uh, kind of hidden pockets for concealed carry. So if you want to put your mags or something like that in these pockets. He finds them uh, really nice. He likes the quality and they come in handy. So if you know someone who conceals carries, concealed, who does, who carries concealed, then this might be a good uh, item for them. Last but not least, we have shirts. This can apply to everyone, and it's our real hazardous shirts. We have a couple styles. We have some like this with just our logo and name. We have t-shirts, tank tops, if you like my dad, uh, hoodies. Uh, we got some women's shirts, men's shirts, uh, stuff like that. We got a whole bunch of things. We have them on our Teespring site. So if you like our videos, we would appreciate it. You know, if you do need a shirt or your kids need a shirt or something like that, uh, it helps support us so we can keep making videos and hopefully it's just fun and stylish for you to wear. Also, we have our performance shirts, which you've probably seen in some of our other videos. It's, um, you know, a sun protection shirt, really lightweight. It's kind of got a Wahoo design, kind of like our jerseys. It's got a name and uh, really good for fishing, you can wear it in the water, diving, or as a rash guard, and stuff like that. Overall, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope this helps you out, you know, if you were struggling to come up with gift ideas for your family. Um, you know, we definitely want to help you guys out with gift ideas. Ultimately, remember though, Christmas isn't about toys or gifts or anything like that. It's to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, our Savior, later we're down on the cross and save us from our sins. It's a pretty big deal. Don't get lost in the commercialization of Christmas. Really make sure to spend time with your family, you know, got time off work, time off school, do fun stuff together, go hunting, go fishing, kind of be happy and love one another with this opportunity. If you can give gifts, well, remember it's um, a blessing to be able to give, you know, and show your love by, you know, dedicating some of the money that you worked hard to get to give to someone else. Also, if you can, help someone else less fortunate than you out. You know, maybe you can get this gift for someone else. You know, maybe you know someone who could use a thermocell when you're hunting, um, you know, need some new clothes, um, something like that, just to help them out. It doesn't have to be any of the things we mentioned. It could just be a gift card to Publix or something like that. Anyways, guys, again, Merry Christmas. Appreciate all my viewers, everyone who comments on all of our videos. It's a family thing, and we've been uh, having a good time making them for you guys. It's been a lot of fun. Hope everyone has a Merry Christmas, and we'll see you guys next time.